Well, as part of their annual summit, the aerospace industry brings in educators each year for a full day of training. As our Lisa Hines explains, educating the educators is the first step in helping fill the jobs of tomorrow. In the United States, we're only graduating 110,000 engineers a year, which sounds like a lot, but not when you compare it with other countries. India graduates three times that amount, while China puts out double that. So the challenge in this country is how to attract more students into an industry that's vital to both our economy and our national security. Aerospace is big in Oklahoma, thanks in part to our past. The fact that we were in a Cold War, the fact that we were in a space race, made everyone interested, young people at that time, the 50s and 60s, and President Kennedy challenged us to go to the moon. Aerospace was cool. Aviation was cool. You wanted to get into it. Vic Bird is director of Oklahoma's Aeronautics Commission and says that's what's always kept the U.S. on the leading edge in aviation. Until now. We are losing. As the CEO of Boeing, we're losing the ability to maintain that lead because we are not restocking that brilliant workforce that allowed us to win the Cold War and the space race. Not only does the U.S. lag behind in the number of engineering graduates, those who do choose to go into the field often are attracted to other types of engineering, like computer gaming. But Kelly Wardlaw, a junior high teacher, says they're working on getting students interested once again. They have a passion for aerospace. Um, our students like to think about being astronauts or flying planes. And it's something that we can bring into the classroom to spark their interest in our subject areas, whether that's math or science or even English. We can bring aerospace in and it gets some of those students who maybe don't want to be in the classroom or, or they're, they're sitting back there and they're going, math doesn't apply to me, I don't even, you know, this, is, this class is a waste of my time. And then you start talking about aviation and aerospace and how math is important, they're going, whoa, that's really cool, I want to fly a plane, I want to be an astronaut, I want to work on an airplane, what a cool job that would be, and oh wow, I need to know math to do that? Okay, what were you saying again? Oklahoma Career Tech's H.L. Baird says, for many students, that means hands-on learning. Education with application is always more effective. If you have a, a student engaged and they get excited about it, they see, they answer that, that question that just tore me up in school and that's, why do I need to know this? And so when you show them that this algebra allows you to calculate the performance of the object you're creating, students put it together. It becomes intrinsic and they just learn it better. And aerospace is a huge part of the economy in Oklahoma. So all that we can do to get them to engage and embrace STEM is going to create a better society and a better career for them. So that's why we do it. And a good reason for getting students interested in aerospace is to create a workforce from the ground up. Governor Mary Fallon. Well, it's very important not only that we have the educated workforce be able to take the jobs, but that we coordinate between the aerospace industry and education so we can have that skilled, educated workforce. There are, there are times that I may talk to an Oklahoma company that tells me they could expand jobs, but they could just find the workers. And so we actually have a good program in our state to coordinate between higher education, between our career technology centers, and the workforce to build the type of skill sets that we need to further fill those job openings. According to Oklahoma Career Tech's director, Phil Birkenbile, that's what Career Tech is all about. One of the things that we're trying to do by being here at this summit and, and other places around the state visiting with our partners is to find out their needs and tailor make our programs to their needs. And uh, that may be from working on, like I said, airframe or power plant, or it may be working on sheet metal or avionics, electronics, maybe working on welding or milling, whatever they need. Secretary of Education Phyllis Hudecki says education is the foundation to aerospace. I don't personally know a great deal about the technology involved in aerospace, but I can tell you that its roots will be in education and building a foundation for all of our students to have the ability to choose exciting careers like aerospace is very important to the future of our state. And according to Vic, our nation. It's not just about the economy. It's about national security too. Maintaining that edge and reclaiming that lead 
and making sure we never let it go. We've got to get young people interested in aerospace again. An interest that takes off whenever students discover their passion in aerospace. Now one place students are beginning to take an interest is in UAVs, or unmanned aerial vehicles. It's an area that those students who've grown up playing video game systems really have a knack for. Vic tells me that the Air Force just graduated two classes of students who are not pilots for airplanes, but instead are remote pilots for the unmanned systems. He says this may be one way to really get students re-interested in the aerospace industry.